35.1, we're going to talk about Hack's Law in this video. So before we go to the Hack's Law, okay, first of all, I just want to know, if you need to travel from Chim Sao Choi to Kun Tong, how much does it cost if you take MTR? Say, for example, right now you're here, Chim Sao Choi, okay, go to Kun Tong, right here. The fastest way, okay, should be go through the red line, okay, and then go to the green line, okay, and then all the way come to Kun Tong. Say, for example, it will just cost you $9, okay, for traveling this distance. What if, okay, in the process, okay, you find out, okay, oh, you want to go to the other side first. Say, for example, from Chim Sao Choi, you have to come down to Admiralty, and then you find out, okay, I want to go and have a look of South Horizon. And after that, okay, you just uh, get back and then go through the purple line and finally come to Kun Tong. It really takes longer time, but I just want to know how much does it cost. Of course, it will be $9 again. Because, okay, you know that, okay, the fare for the MTR, okay, it really depends on the starting stations and also the ending station, your destined uh, station. It doesn't count, okay, which route, okay, you're taking. Okay, maybe you can all the way travel to Two Moon, okay, and then you come back here. That will be all right as far as you're within two hours, okay. So you'll find that, okay, the affair, okay, it will just count, okay, where you start and where you end up with. So actually, it is more or less similar to the one in our, our MVP change, okay. So as long as you have the reactant and product the same, I don't care, okay, how you convert to the final product, okay, different Roots, okay, you have the submissions, okay, all the FOP will be the same. I will explain a little bit more details behind. So for hash law, okay, uh, this one, okay, remember, you have to memorize it because this is the definition. And in DSE, it really have come up once, okay, in 2017, okay. So the definition for hash law is the overall FOP change of a chemical reaction is the same regardless the route by which the reaction takes place, provided that the initial and final state are the same. You may consider this statement like um, A plus 2B become, say for example, 3C, okay, things like that, okay? So this is the first route that you may take, and then you have delta H1. Okay, say for example, okay, you have another root. Say for example, you have like A plus B. Okay, and then this one become D. And then you have one B left behind. So these D plus B, they can give out 3C. So in this process, okay, you will have two other enthalpy, which is delta H2 and delta H3. So according to Hack's law, I don't mind, okay, which Route okay, you are taking okay for the reactions to take place as long as you have the same initial state and final state, this one okay will be the same. That means that you will know that okay, delta H1 will equal to delta H2 plus delta H3. Okay, so I have more examples behind. So, say for example, okay, uh, root A, okay, uh, right now we have 2C plus 3H2, okay, and then becomes C2H6. So the 2C will add the H2, 3H2 at a time, just one step. And in the process, they'll have negative 84.7. The root B, another root, you may not add 3H2 at a time. You add one H2 first to form C2H2, and then you add the other H2, the other 2H2. So in the process, okay, you will have two different enthalpy. But when you have H1 and H2 add up together, you will find that it will be still negative 84.7. Root C, this time, okay, you add 2H2 in the first step, and then you add the third H2, okay, by the second step. So this one will have H3 and H4. You add these two enthalpy, you'll find that, okay, they will be the same. So no matter which route you take, all of them will have, negative, have the same enthalpy change, okay? This is what Hack's Law suggests, okay, after they're doing some experiment. So uh, we can present the three equations okay, in the following diagram. So you find that, okay, uh, for the first route, they just have one step directly go to C2H6. Okay, the other one, okay, you may consume, okay, they will combine with the C combined with 
one H2. Okay, after they combine with one of the H2, you still have two H2 for the second step. Get it? Okay, while the other root, uh, root C, you combine with 2H2 first. Okay, you combine with 2H2, so you have 1H2 behind to further our second step. Okay, so this is root B, this is root C, and this is root A. No matter which root you take, you'll find that all the enthalpy change in the process will be the same as negative 84.7. Okay, so we'll always say that by Hack's law. Okay, delta H A, that means this one, equals to delta H B and equals to delta H C. And all of them will be negative 84.7 in this case. So uh, how to construct an enthalpy change cycle? Okay, just like uh, the previous slide. Okay, uh, first of all, you have to know that okay, the cycle just now illustrate is called enthalpy change cycle. Sometimes people just say enthalpy cycles. Okay, they are just the same. Consider the reactions below. Okay, we are having formation of nitrogen dioxide. So formation of nitrogen dioxide, you can uh, easily think of. Okay, this equation. Okay, we got NO two. Okay, that would be nitrogen dioxide. They form from N2 and O2, from their constituent elements. So this one is root A. But actually, it is not necessary to follow this root, okay? We can first combine with 1O2 to get NO first. And each of the NO will further combine with the O2 to form NO2. Is that right? So actually, you can have root B combine forming NO and an NO combined to form NO2. If we add these two equations together, H1 plus H2, of course, you can see uh, 180 minus 112. Even you have plus because this is negative. Okay, so you add these two together, you'll find that, okay, they will have the same value as the root A. Okay, so this is what we have learned just now. But when you add the equation together, you will find that, okay, actually, the NO, okay, on the reactant side, Okay, of the second equation and also the products are the first equation, they will eliminate together. Okay, but these O2 they will combine become two O2. So these are uh, are uh, reactant and product add up together. These two equation add up together. Actually, you have the same equation as root A. Okay, so this one okay is just uh, some equation okay listing out to show you, but you can't see clearly okay how the reactions go. So normally we will just construct a enthalpy change cycle in this section okay to help us to apply Hack's law easier. So there are some tips okay I would like to give it to you okay to help you to construct enthalpy cycle easier without making any mistakes. Okay, so um. These, okay, will help you a lot, okay? The first one, never reverse the arrows, okay? If I give you the arrows like this, it's from the reactant N2O2, go to the product NO. Then I will keep the arrow all the time, must be here, okay, in this direction, okay? If you go to this direction, it will be plus 68, okay, kilojoule per mole, okay? So that means that, okay, N2 plus 2O2, it will be going up, and then go to 2NO2, this will be plus 68. Actually, you can reverse, okay? You can reverse the arrow, but I don't recommend you to reverse. If you remember well, okay, in the previous uh, videos, we said that if you reverse, okay, not going from uh, the one below, go up, okay? Actually, the distance here is 68. If you go up here, you absorb energy, so you have plus. But if you go the other way around, okay, if you have an equation like this, go backward, then you'll find that if you reverse the arrows, then this one will then become negative 68, negative 68 in this case, okay? But you see that if you reverse the arrow, you just complicate the math, okay? You just have the positive sign become negative. There is no a must, okay, for you to reverse arrows. If you just reverse arrow and forgot to change the sign, then that will be a problem, okay? Second one, okay, it means that you okay, add one, and add all, okay? What means by add one and add all, okay? Uh, I think later on, if I have any examples for you, that will be easier for you to see, okay? But basically, uh, um, of, say for example, okay, if I have this equation, okay? And if I want to construct an, a, another equation, so, okay, which is combined to form NO2, 
okay, in this way. So if you go this way, actually, you'll find that you don't have enough O2 because N2 need to have at least two O2. So in this case, okay, actually, you need one more O2 in order to have two NO2. Is that right? So I would like to add an O2 here so that, okay, after I add O2, you'll find that this equation will be balanced because two O2. So add up, we have 4 O. So here, 4 O. So this equation is balanced. However, after you add this one, you add 1. But you have to add O. What means by add O? Because you're not only balancing this equation, you're also balancing this equation. If you do like that way, okay, if you don't add O2 on the other side, you'll find that, okay, here we have 4 O, but you just have 2 O on the right hand side. Then that will be unbalanced. So after you add 1, you have to add O, okay? to the previous equation that you have balanced, okay? So later on, after you practice a little bit more, you will know that, okay? Third one, okay, you have to write the values with the sign above each arrow. Say, for example, just now, okay, we we have write, uh, we have go through this equation, okay, N2 plus O2 become 2NO. N2 plus O2 become 2NO. This one is positive 180. So I have to write positive 180 here. So if you go through our uh, equation, N2, O2 become 2NO2, N2, or uh, 2O2, 2O2, okay, become 2NO2. So this equation will be positive 68. So I will write positive 68 like this, okay? This one is help you to do the math, okay? Remember every arrow, okay? Write about it, write down the corresponding enthalpy changes, okay? Sometimes you may have to multiply by 2, sometimes you may have to multiply by half, okay? Things like that, okay? Remember all the equations, okay, will only use once, okay? So after I use this equation, I will check, I put tick here, after I use this one, I put check here. So only, okay, the last equation, I still haven't used it. Then maybe I have to construct, okay, or uh, somewhere here, okay? So uh, let's have a look, okay, the application of this. So uh, right here, okay, we have three equations. We have to combine them together. Okay, you have uh, three equations, say, uh, one, two, three. Three equation. okay? We're going to put these three equations together as an MVP cycle. So basically, okay, any equation you start up with will be all right. You just pick one and then write it at the top horizontally. Because I try to combine the equation and make it into a or make it into a triangle because you have three equation here. So one, two, three. Triangle will be easier for you to do. But uh, one thing you have to remember, okay, every time when we write because it is a thermochemical equation, you have to put down the state as well. Okay, so you put down a state like this. Okay, so uh, I recommend you, okay, don't write like this. Okay, um, let's do better here. I write these three things okay too close together these three reactants too close together i think i prefer to uh, write it uh, a little bit further apart so that you have more spacing in the middle to do some changes and also the equations okay will be easier for you to uh, the triangle will be easier for you to write so after i write the first equation i say that this is positive 68 okay so after you use the first one okay i put take Okay, of the equation, okay, and then I write a uh, sign on the above the arrow as well, okay, at the end reverse arrows, okay. So next, okay, we're going to put, uh, say for example, random one of the equation we'll do, say uh, we are doing the second one, okay, the N2 plus O2 will become 2NO. So right here, okay, I just need one N2 and one O2. So what I'm doing here, I only do N2 and part of the O2 because I got two O2 here, right? I just use part of them. So part of them, after they react, they will become 2NO, right? So I write 2NO. But remember, I still have one O2 not yet used, okay? If you consider the 2O2, break it down into things like this. I use one only. I still have one left behind. So I will have a O2 not yet used. So I write like this. So uh, for this section, actually, I execute N2 plus 1O2 only. So I will have plus 180O. And it and will be changed in this process. Okay. And in other words, okay, this N2, 
okay, the miraculous things, okay, that you're going to learn is, okay, every time if you construct the MVP cycle to, or correctly, you'll find that all the things they will uh, put together, okay, and form a very nice picture. So 2NO plus O2, you happen to see that, oh, exactly the same equation, 2NO plus O2. So this one, they will become 2NO2. The most wonderful thing is 2NO2 happens here. Okay, so this arrow have to point to 2NO2. So I will point to 2NO2. This time, okay, I'm not drawing this direction. I'm going up because this one is pointing towards 2NO2. So you follow the arrow. You point to 2NO2. And this one is negative 112. So this one will be negative 112. Okay, so uh, better to write down the unit as well. Okay, you have to the unit. Okay, so... This one, okay, will be the enthalpy cycles, okay, that we need to do, okay, enthalpy change cycles, okay. So, uh, let's have a look, okay, the one in the talk. It will be written like this, okay. So, uh, it is the same. You'll find that this is plus 68, okay, plus 180, and then negative 112. If you still remember, okay, if this one is a uh, initial, this one is an initial, and this is the final, okay, then you'll find that, okay, this is root A. This is root A. You see that the green arrow, root A. And then this one will be the root B, okay? You first combine to form NO, and then you combine to form the NO2. So according to Hess law, this root A will be equals to root B. So you see root A equals to root B. Root B can express as H1 plus H2. So root A will be H1 plus H2. Okay, so you may ask, oh, why do we need to do that? Okay, why do we need to do this kind of uh, enthalpy cycle? Just because, just because, you'll find that, okay, if we look into the equation, N2 plus O2 to burn N2 and form NO2, actually, this experiment is easy to do. Okay, you just have N2 and then you burn it in oxygen, excess oxygen, and then you have NO2, okay? But... Is it easy for you to do N2 burn with 1O2 to form 1NO? I think the answer is not easy. Because you have to control every N2 just got 1O to form NO, not forming NO2. You can't, come, you can't guarantee all the NO will do like that way. So in the reality, when we do these experiments, this one is quite impossible for us to do. So in the previous... Uh, chapters, you learn that, okay, we have used calorimeter to help us to do some enthalpy change of combustion and neutralization, but I did say that, okay, for uh, formation is difficult, okay, because some of the reaction, you may have side effect. In this case, it is having side effect. It is not only giving NO, but also they will give up NO2 in the process. So therefore, you'll find that this one is impossible to find it by using calorimetered method, calorimetric method. So this one, okay, NO, if you got some NO, you burn them to get NO2. Actually, this one is sensible. You can do this. So if you take a look of these three, if I can do this, I can get this data, I can get this data. Even this data is missing, okay? According to the Hack's law, HA equals to delta H1 plus delta H2. If H1 is a question mark, H2 is negative 112, okay, and then HA, I can find it is positive 68. Actually, the question mark can be solved. So by doing this, we can indirectly finding the delta H5 uh, formation of NO gas. Okay. At the beginning, we find that it is difficult to do it by experiment, but using Hack's law, we can then okay, indirectly find out the formation, and will be change of formation for nitrogen monoxide. So to conclude these videos, okay, uh, you have to know that, okay, remember, spend time to memorize the definition. This one will have like one to two mark, okay, in the public exam. Remember Hack's law definitions, Overall enthalpy change of chemical reaction is the same. Okay, I don't care which route okay you're taking place. Okay, provided that okay we have a pro or we have a assumptions the initial and final state are the same. Okay, so uh, this is definition. So please have it like every single words correct. Okay, and we learn how to construct an enthalpy cycle. 
Um, remember, never reverse the arrows at one, at all. Even I didn't show this one yet okay, in the examples. And then remember, every arrows above, do write down the values with the sign. And every equation we only use once. Next video, I will just give you more examples so that you will know how to do the enthalpy change cycle properly. Okay, so that's all for this video. Bye bye.